Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And now, host Cheryl Miller. Hello and good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on Battle of the Brains. I'm Cheryl Miller. We're excited to be able to bring you a brand new season of Battle. And as with a lot of things these days, we've had to make some changes to the way our academic challenge is played due to the pandemic situation. And today we're bringing you a special exhibition match. We had a team forfeit, so the team from Freeman High School will automatically advance to the next round. But so they don't miss out on the Battle of the Brains experience, Maury High School has stepped in to play this exhibition match today. Our competition still welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. And joining us remotely, today's teams are the Commodores of Maury High School, coached by Tony Kershaski and William McCone. The oldest high school in Norfolk, Maury High School, has a medical and health specialties program in association with the Eastern Virginia Medical School. It's the only school in that district with this type of specialty program. And also joining us remotely today, students from Douglas Freeman High School, coached by Matt Scott. Douglas Freeman High School is in Henrico County, a suburb just west of the city of Richmond. The school is named for the newspaper, editor, historian, and Pulitzer Prize winning author. Freeman's Battle of the Brains team is the two-time defending champion. Champions. And it's good to have all of these students with us remotely today. And because we can't all be together, here's how our game has changed. We will have toss-up rounds, but questions will be directed to each student alternating between teams. And there will be no point deduction for any incorrect answers. All right, teams, let's start our first toss-up round. We're going to start with our team from Maury and Elizabeth. You get the first question. As of March 2020, when Broadway went dark due to the pandemic, what Andrew Lloyd Webber production was the longest running show? Phantom of the Opera. That is correct. Phantom of the Opera opened January 22, 1988. Over to Douglas Freeman High School and GEO. Which Virginia airport is named for a former U.S. Secretary of State and primary architect of the U.S. involvement in Vietnam? Dulles Airport. John Foster Dulles is correct. And now back to Maury and Connor. Connor, the word means first or leading. What is the name for the top flight English football league? They're called the Premier League. All right, over to Douglas Freeman and Joseph. Joseph, sharing its name with a Confederate general, it is home to the Army's quartermaster, transportation and ordnance schools. Name this Virginia military base located in Prince George County. Uh, Jackson. That would be Fort Lee. All right, over to Maury and Ethan. Covered, suspension and pontoon are types of what structure? Bridge. Bridge, or, is, uh, bridge. bridge is, is correct. All right, over to Freeman and Kieran. Kieran, name the former U.S. Senator and astronaut who was the first American to orbit the Earth and the oldest person ever to go into space. Uh, John Glenn. That is correct. He flew on the shuttle in 1998. Back to Maury and Peyton. You might want to write this down. 1,760 yards is equal to what singular U.S. unit of length? Is it a mile? A mile is correct. All right, back to Freeman and Katie. This 15th century Dominican friar's name has become synonymous for his religious bigotry and his cruel fanaticism. Name this man who became the first grand inquisitor of the Spanish Inquisition. That would be Tomas de Torquemada. All right, Maury and Elizabeth. Planets in our solar system are named for gods found in whose mythology? Roman. Roman is correct. All right, Douglas Freeman and Geo. 2020 presidential candidate Joe Biden is a former senator from which first state? Delaware. Delaware is correct. Back to Maury and Connor. This solid geometric feature ha figure has four triangular sides like the tetrahedron. However, like, unlike the tetrahedron, its base is a square. Name this solid figure. Square pyramid. 
Yes. Pyramid is correct, yes. All right, to Freeman and Joseph. She ended her landmark television lessons with the wish Bon Appetit. Name this six foot two American, a former member of the precursor to the CIA, nicknamed the French chef. Julia Child. Julia Child is correct. Maury and Ethan. What is the atomic number of sulfur if it contains 16 electrons? And that would be 16. Douglas Freeman and Kieran. This country turns out the most feature films of any in the world. Identify this location whose cinema industry is nicknamed Bollywood. Uh, India. India is correct. And that buzzer means good job so far. Up next, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round here on Battle of the Brain. So stay with us for that. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains in this special exhibition match. Maury High School with 50 points, Douglas Freeman High School with 50 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first we want to introduce you to today's players. We'll start with our team from Maury. The Commodores are coached by Tony Kershaski and William McCone. First up is Elizabeth Hamilton. Elizabeth is a senior. She loves Dungeons and Dragons. She runs her own group and she would like to eventually have a career in government. She wants to make a change in our world. The team captain is Connor McCarty, who is a senior. His interests include sailing and programming. He'd like to uh, further his career by studying physics. Next up is Ethan Reinhardt. Ethan is a senior. He is undecided right now where he'll study at university, but he's planning to go. And he spends his time right now volunteering. He's also a participant in the Boy Scouts. And Peyton Haynes is a senior, attend, would like to attend university to work with computer engines and study game design. Thank you all for joining us from Maury High School, and good to have you here with us. Now let's meet our team from Douglas Freeman High School. They are coached by Matt Scott. First up is Gio Matseo, who is a jun junior. At school, he's involved in a few clubs, including Model UN and the History and Human Rights Clubs. He runs track year-round. He also enjoys philosophy, debate, and science. Our team captain from Douglas Freeman High School is Joseph Chambers. Joseph is a junior. He enjoys doing word and logic puzzles as well as reading. He likes to keep up with UVA sports. He's a musician. He plays baritone saxophone in the school's marching band and wind ensembles and the tenor sax in the jazz band. Next up is Kieran Wall, who is a junior, is in the Center for Leadership at Freeman. He is a competitive rock climber, and he writes for the school newspaper, also enjoys amateur astronomy, running, and hiking. And wrapping up our team from Freeman is Katie Hall, who is a freshman. Katie plans to study international relations or maybe political science. She likes to play field hockey and basketball and participate in theater productions and reading. And that is our team from Douglas Freeman High School. Good to have you all here with us in this special exhibition round. And now we're going to get to our category round, where each team will select one 10-question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. Teams, take a look here at today's categories from which you may choose. They are valleys, pops, the word, and nicknames. And we do note that in this round, only the captain can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answers. And the high score team gets first choice of category. We have a tie, so the team with the last correct answer will go first in this round, and that is the team from Douglas Freeman High School. So Joseph, quickly talk it over with your teammates and let me know what category you would like to play. Uh, pops the word, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I, I, I figure that one, yeah. one, one might be the best, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll go with pops the word. All right, identify each of the following words or word combinations in which P-O-P, -P, or the word pop, can, appears. The first is generic name for any soft drink. Soda pop. Like soda pop, or, yeah. Uh, the answer is soda pop. That's correct. Staple snack food at the movies. Popcorn. Like popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is popcorn. Correct. Frozen treat on a stick. Popsicle. 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 The answer is popsicle. Correct. What Rice Krispies say? Snap, crackle, snap, pop. Crackle, snap, crackle, pop. Crackle, pop. Uh, the answer is snap, crackle, and pop. Correct. Candy on a stick. Like a popsicle or a... a lollipop. Oh, yeah. Lollipop. Good, good. Okay. The answer is lollipop. That's correct. 
what a person who is well liked is. Uh, popular. popular. Yeah. The popular. answer is popular. Correct. A colloquial term for a small hometown or family owned business. Oh, mom, mom and pop. pop. The answer is mom and pop. Correct. All the people inhabiting a specified area. Population. population. Correct. The answer is population. A camper with collapsible sides for towing and storage. Uh, is it like a pop top or something? It's like a uh, pop sure top? I don't know. Uh, we'll go with pop top. It's actually called a pop up. Okay. And finally, yeah. a brand of toaster pastry. Uh, the answer pop -tart. is pop tart. Pop tart <laughs> is correct. Good job on that pop the word category. All right, over to Maury. It'll either be valleys or nicknames. And Connor, quickly talk it over with your team. Let me know what you would like to play. Anyone here good with geography? Uh, yeah, I think we should do valleys. I don't know. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're going to be carrying us if you free pick valleys. So, all right, you better really know it then. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think you want I think we're going with valleys. Valleys. All right. Identify these people, places, and things associated with valleys: literal, figurative, and imaginary. The first is the valley west of the Blue Ridge Mountains. That's just Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Yeah. The answer is Shenandoah. Correct. High tech nickname of Santa Clara Valley. Silicon Valley. Yeah, I think you're right. S Silicon Valley. Correct. The answer is Silicon. Yeah. Six word name of the valley mentioned in Psalm 23. Uh, do you guys know that? I think we should skip. Yeah, skip. Uh, skip. That's yeah. the Valley of the Shadow of Death. Desert location of Badwater Basin. Death, Death Valley. Death, yeah, Death Valley. Okay. The answer is Death Valley. Correct. Washington's miserable 1777-78 winter camp. I feel like Valley I should know Valley Forge? This yeah, yeah, Isn't that's it. Isn't it Valley Forge? Yeah, the answer is Valley Forge. That is correct. A valley in Tolkien's Middle Earth. Uh, <laughs> I should know this. I read the book. Um, I can't. I can't think of it. Anybody? No, pass, yeah. All right, pass. It's Rivendell. Its cities include Blacksburg, Radford, in addition to Natural Bridge. I think it's in Red, Red River. OK, yeah, Red River Valley? No. The answer is? It's New River Valley. New Deal Rural Electrification Project. Tennessee. Tennessee. Your River Valley. Wait, what is it? Hold on. Yeah, Tennessee. yeah, t Tennessee. Tennessee Valley, yeah. Okay, um, our answer is Tennessee Valley. <laughs> Tennessee Valley Authority is the correct answer, yes. Good job with the category round teams, and up next we've got another toss-up round to come here on Battle of the Brains. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Maury High School with 75 points. Douglas Freeman High School with 95 points. And now back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And again, questions are being directed this season to individual players alternating between teams and no point deduction for incorrect answers. We start this round with our team from Maury and Peyton. You get the first question. In physics, what is the term for the transfer of heat by the actual transfer of matter? And that would be conduction or convection. All right, over to Douglas Freeman High School and Katie. What ship was John Paul Jones commanding when he replied to a request to surrender with the now famous words, I have not yet begun to fight? He was on board the Bonhomme Richard. Elizabeth on the Mori team. In mathematics, what is the term for a number that is raised to a power? Exponent? No. That would be a base number. All right, Geo. What two word term describes the feat of a player achieving three goals in a single hockey match? That would be a hat trick. That would be a hat trick. Good job on that. All right, back to Maury and Connor. Its use in thermometers is being phased out. What is this metal that is liquid at room temperature and whose atomic number is 80? Mercury metal. Mercury is correct. 
Back to Freeman and Joseph. Lecithin is an essential fat found in soybeans. Spell lecithin. L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N. That is correct. All right, Maury and Ethan. The United States' worst commercial nuclear disaster took place at the Three Mile Island facility in what state? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is correct. Kieran, in Arthurian legend, who was King Arthur's father? And that would be Uther Pendragon. Back to Maury and Peyton. What NFL Super Bowl M MVP quarterback recently bought an ownership stake in the Kansas City Royals? Tom Brady. Repeat for me, please. No. Tom Brady. That is incorrect. It was Patrick Mahomes. All right, Freeman and Katie. Who became president following the 1963 assassination of John F. Kennedy? Lyndon B. Johnson. That is correct. It was Johnson. Maury and Elizabeth, in statistics, what is the term for a five-point histogram-like method of displaying data which was invented by John W. Tukey? No answer. That would be a box plot. Over to Freeman and Geo. Most of them have chisel-shaped incisors and cheek teeth built for gnawing. Name this order that includes squirrels, chipmunks, and mice. Uh, ro rodents? That is correct, or rodentia. All right, over to Maury and Connor. You may need your pencil and paper. What is the derivative of 3x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3x? Um, that would be 9x squared plus 10x plus 3. And that is the correct answer. Good job. All right, over to Freeman and Joseph. In the Marvel comic world, Daisy Johnson, a.k.a. Sky, is a fictional superhero named Quake on what current TV show? Um, Legends of Tomorrow. No. That would be on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. All right, to Mari and Ethan. It houses the crown jewels and six ravens are always kept there. Name this iconic building whose official name is Her Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress. Tower of... The answer is Tower of London. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round ahead and we'll have today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores now as we head into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Maury High School with 105 points, Douglas Freeman High School with 135 points, and in this final toss-up round of our special exhibition game, the point score for a correct answer is double. There is no deduction for any incorrect answer this season. And again, in this virtual version of Battle of the Brains, we will direct questions to individual students and we're alternating between teams. And we begin this toss-up round with Freeman and Kieran. Kieran, it begins by noting that April is the cruelest month. Name this 1922 poem by T.S. Eliot. to um it's called the wasteland all right over to maury and peyton in Norse mythology thor's hammer is spelled mjolnir spell mjolnir m-j-o-r-n that is incorrect <laughs> is m-j-o-l-l-n-i-r mjolnir all right, Douglas Freeman and Katie. The Eudemian summary says that in Pythagorean's time, Pythagoras's time, there were three means, the arithmetic, the geometric, and the subcontrary. The term subcontrary was later changed to what? That would be the harmonic. Over to Maury and Elizabeth. Who was the governor of Judea who ordered Jesus Christ's execution? No answer. That would be Pontius Pilate. 
Douglas Freeman, Geo. Film director Robert Wise won two Oscar awards for his work on what 1961 movie musical based on the story of Romeo and Juliet? West Side Story. West Side Story is correct. Back to Maury and Connor. Name the acid with the chemical formula CH3COOH that provides the taste of vinegar. Um, acetic acid. That is correct, acetic acid or acetate or ethanoic acid. All right, Joseph, which word identifies all of the following? A pro football team, a region in the northeastern part of India, a type of tiger, and the world's largest bay? Bengal. Bengal is correct. Over to Maury and Ethan. The franchise or right to vote was extended to African American males by which constitutional amendment? Fourteenth. It would be the Fifteenth Amendment. Back to Freeman and Kieran. Kieran, name the company or activity that is described by allowing you to update followers about their activities and opinions in messages of 280 characters or less. Uh, that would be Twitter. That is correct. Back to Maury and Peyton. Bart Starr of the Green Bay Packers was the MVP of Super Bowls one and two. Now a Fox Sports commentator, who was the only other person to win back-to-back -back Super Bowl MVPs? No answer. That would be Terry Bradshaw in 1979 and 1980. All right, to Freeman and Katie. Based on a book by Dr. Seuss and made into a movie in 2012, name this title character who speaks to the trees against the greedy Onceler. The Lorax. The Lorax is correct. Over to Maury and Elizabeth. Which European ruler is the longest serving monarch in the world having ascended to the throne in 1952? Queen Elizabeth II. That is correct. All right, Douglas Freeman, Geo. Currently owned by Dan Snyder, what football franchise holds the NFL record for margin of defeat, losing the 1940 NFL championship to the Chicago Bears 73 to nothing? That would be the Washington football team. That is correct. And that buzzer is the end of our exhibition round. And while our judges double check the final score, we want to remind you that how to stay connected. We want to remind you how to stay connected to Battle of the Brains. To find out more about our show, just log on to battleofthebrains.net. And you'll also find Battle of the Brains on Facebook and full episodes of the show on our YouTube page. And as we continue round one of our new season of Battle of the Brains, please join us next week when we virtually welcome teams from Midlothian's Clover Hill High School and Fork Union Military Academy. And now here's the final score for today's exhibition match because due to a forfeit, the Freeman team is automatically going on to the next round. Want to tell you that. Our final score, Maury High School with 145 points. Thank you so much to Elizabeth, Connor, Ethan, and Peyton for playing along with us in this special exhibition game. And going on to the next round, congratulations with a final score of 235 points. Our team from Douglas Freeman High School, Geo, Joseph, Kieran, and Katie. Congratulations, and we'll see you all later in the season here on Battle of the Brains. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks so much for watching and playing along on Battle of the Brains. We'll see you back here next Saturday morning. Thanks, teams. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan.